Hey guys, welcome here to another episode and today I'm going to go through like a refresher on the track edit mod. I've been asked to do this. Um, maybe this can help you out when using this mod. It's quite difficult. If you are a beginner to the game, I definitely recommend uh, not using it to begin with. So when you open up with track edit mod, you're going to get an error sign. Just hide it. It's fine. And then um, I'm going to take a simple coaster and just do like a really basic layout for you guys. I'm just going to take the steel coaster because it, the track's easiest to see. So let's just do a station. So basically it works as normal, like you just build your normal track, but you're going to have these white dots on the, the track which you can actually modify and move. So let's just do like a launch um, just to save time of, of building a lift hill. So I'm going to do a diagonal curve to begin with so I'm just going to take like this do a little um, banking and then uh, I'm going to do a small one like that and that's all fine it's all great it works perfect but you're going to have to go in and actually go back to this uh, first diagonal section every time you do this um, because what happens is is it doesn't actually connect so every time you have to delete it and then rebuild it and then it will auto um, connect so then we're all good go and then basically now I'm just gonna bring the coaster back around like this and what eventually starts to happen the more you keep kind of building is that your track will actually come off the grid ever so slightly so um, I'm gonna try and get that to happen now somehow um, sometimes it actually does line up, sometimes it doesn't. I'm just going to go in and actually add another launch really quickly. This one can be like a, a 60 and then let's do like another bank up like this. And let's do like a bigger diagonal curve like so. A nice drop down. Okay, let's just quickly finish the layout. Okay, so I'm at the end and uh, basically um, what happens is, is that the more you use diagonal curves throughout your layout, you're actually going to get into a situation where the track is in the middle of the grid and not actually um, in the correct place. So what you're going to want to do is, is just kind of go back a piece like this and then you're going to want to click back on the coaster again and there's a white dot and you're going to want to move that back onto the grid but before you do this make sure the game is in play uh, if you do it in pause it won't work and also uh, you want to have the coaster builder on the back step like that so that the last piece of track is actually white if you have it uh, flashing blue it will not work for you so just make sure you go back a step and then you want to click on the dot and then option and then grid uh, size two. And you just wanna put it into the middle of the grid on the edge like that. And then you should be good to go. And I'm just gonna connect up the track at the end now like this. And there we go. So basically you can apply that kind of rule to any sort of situation that you have where you wanna move track. Make sure your game is in play, you go back so that you have the last piece of track white and then you should be good. So that happened because I have forgotten to redo the diagonal. You always have to do that and I just forgot to do it with that one. But um, if you ever put in a diagonal slope piece, you always have to go back and delete it and re-put it in again every single time. So let's just have another look at the layout going around. So we've got that nice little first uh, launch there. And then we're going into a second fast launch up until that bunny hill. The final curve into the brakes. So great, so thanks for watching. I hope this helps you. Don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up and comment down below if you have any other questions with track edit mod or anything else. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.